Negotiators from the European Parliament and the bloc's 27 member countries overcame big differences on controversial points including generative AI and police use of face recognition surveillance to sign a tentative political agreement for the Artificial Intelligence Act. Nevertheless, the problem remains along with the concerns and cautions from the rights groups. Whatever the victories may have been in these final negotiations, the fact remains that huge flaws will remain in this final text, said Daniel Lufer, a senior policy analyst at the Digital Rights Group Access Now. Disney considers the launch of shopping and gaming experiences on the streaming outlet, with which advertisers could get involved. The company is ready to present that at CES conference. Amazon is expected to debut a new ad-supported tier to the bulk of its Prime Video subscribers in early 2024. On Thursday, December 7, the company unveiled a new three-year pact with Interpublic Group that calls for clients of its media-buying agencies to allocate some of their dollars to the new advertising platform. Netflix, meanwhile, plans to roll out a series of new offers that include use of QR codes or sponsorships tied to a specific title, a thematic moment or a live stream. BT has unveiled what it describes as a pioneering new technology, designed to be a more reliable, quality-focused and sustainable way of delivering live content over the internet. Multicast-assisted unicast delivery mod, technology is aimed at improving viewer experiences and increasing the efficiency of the content delivery to them. Major broadcasters, including the BBC, will be involved in evaluating and potentially trialing the technology to support a range of live content. More about that in one of our upcoming newscasts. IBC has announced the extension of Call for Challenges deadline for the 2024 Accelerator Media Innovation Program. The new deadline is Monday, January 15, 2024. This will provide innovators with an extra month to submit an entry in order to have the chance to pitch at the Kickstart Day event in early March 2024 and participate in a collaborative R&D project that will impact the industry. At Kickstart, eight pitches will be chosen to go forward as accelerator projects and teams begin work on their solution and proof of a concept that will be demonstrated on the Accelerator Zone and showcased on the innovation stage at IBC 2024. All segments within the media and entertainment industry ecosystem are welcome to enter their business and technology challenges, which should be focused on critical areas of digital transformation, such as AI, connectivity, cloud, IP, virtualization, sustainability, immersive and experiential technologies. A huge 97.8% of families in Portugal had a pay TV subscription in the third quarter of 2023, with subscriptions rising to 4.6 million, up 107,000 from the same period in 2022. Fiber optics has overtaken other technologies as the preferred method of accessing pay TV services, accounting for 63.2% of all subscriptions. Cable TV is second with a 27.3% share, followed by Satellite TV DTH, at 7.3% and ADSL at 2.3%. The IAB Tech Lab, a global digital advertising technical standard-setting body, has officially launched its Advanced TV initiative. It is aimed to create more standardization and interoperability across digital video, live streaming, and linear TV environments and to help media companies bridge the current gaps between traditional linear TV, digital video, and live streaming that create difficulties in delivering cross-platform advertising campaigns. Getty Images in partnership with BBC Studios, the commercial subsidiary of the BBC, announces the launch of a new platform giving its customers unprecedented access to BBC Archive Video and a new seamless search, purchase, and download experience. Designed to intuitively enable end-users to select and order content, the platform, powered by MAM software specialists Vita Content OS, allows easy access to over 57,000 programs from the BBC Archive which was previously only available offline by a heavily manual process. The new platform expands the on-demand offering of BBC content for Getty Images customers who can already access over 200,000 BBC editorial and creative clips on GettyImage.com. Maryland Public Television has chosen Hitachi Kakusai Studio Cameras. First new SKUHD 7000 S2 broadcast cameras already arrived. Introduced at the NAB 2023 show in April, the SKUHD 7000 S2 leverages Hitachi Kakusai's latest HD and 4K camera technology, with 12G 4K acquisition unlocked upon purchasing a 4K camera license upgrade. Maryland Public Television will use only the camera's HD content acquisition capabilities until further notice, though its 4K performance and quality were among the customer's key deciding factors, the company said. 
Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.